Welcome to Our Grace Family. Thank you for joining us. I'm Reverend Steve Millar, a minister here at Grace Cathedral, and this is my lovely wife, Kathy. Today we have a special program to honor and celebrate the life of our dear pastor, Reverend Ernest Angley, who went home to be with the Lord. Reverend Angley gave his heart to the Lord at age 18, and then shortly thereafter began to preach the gospel. And his mission was always to win the lost at any cost, and we're continuing on that mission. And to start off the program, we have the Singing Men's Quartet joining us, and they are going to sing a song that Reverend Angley really loved, titled, Say Jesus. So listen and be blessed. Say Jesus. He's the bright and morning star, He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings, He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. When you wake up in the morning, let him know that you love him. When you're at the supper table, let him know that you thank him. When you go to bed at night time, make sure you pray to him. Say Jesus, I love you so. Say Jesus, he's the bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. Jesus, Jesus, it'll put your soul on fire. Sing Jesus, 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 that name will ever inspire. Sing Jesus when you think of him, there's power in his name. Say Jesus, Say Jesus, I love you so. Say Jesus, he's a bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of Jesus, I love you so. Say Jesus, he's the bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's the master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. That song really blessed us. And I remember on the mission field how Reverend Angley would be walking across that platform over in Africa, and he'd have his hand raised up, and he'd be stretched out the name Jesus, just saying, Jesus. And the whole crowd was saying Jesus with them because there's power in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we want to thank you, Singing yes. Men Quartet, for singing that very powerful and uplifting song. And I know some of you have been a part of this Jesus ministry for many years. In fact, Laddie, we know that you were Amen. back in the tent days. Yes. Amen. But we want to start with you, Bud. Can you share some special memories that you have of Reverend sure. Angley and I'd traveling love with to. him? Back when we were traveling on the road with the buses and the trucks, we would leave Friday night, well, really Saturday morning sometimes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and we would get on the bus and Reverend would have the victory prayer and then we would go down the road and he would start talking about the service yeah. and people getting healed and getting saved and delivered all the way down <laughs> until we <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> but some of us had to get to the bunk. We're drivers. Yeah. <laughs> the other yeah. drivers would take over yeah. two or three hours later. And uh, it was interesting. It's Reverend always, always gave us a good talk Amen. About Jesus. Yes. And I miss that. Yeah. Amen. So you really had a closeness with Reverend during travels. Yes. From state to we state. We were like his kids, basically. Yeah. He kind of adopted all of us. We were like his kids, and he treated us like a dad. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we needed to be scolded, mm -hmm. 
He'd scold us, <laughs> and uh, he'd also praise at the same time. Well, that's what a good father does, Amen. Right? Yes, he does, and that's exactly what he we're would say. Called. Kids, yeah, I told you <laughs> once, kids. I told Amen. you twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you obeyed, right? Yeah, oh, yes. definitely. <laughs> that's definitely. the important we obeyed. thing. Yes. Yes. Well, you can never it, replace oh, those memories. Those it was are such very a wonderful special. privilege. Oh, dear God, to travel with that true man of God. He had all the nine gifts, and you know. The Bible tells us that those nine gifts, you don't get them unless you fast, pray, and live in the Word. Yes. yes. And he did that. And we saw that many, many times we would see him. He'd go out to eat with us sometimes after a crusade in the state side or Canada. And he would not eat. And we would see him. He would, he'd be sitting there. And you'd see his clothes a lot of times on the platform. Those suits would be, just be hanging on him. He was stocky. Mm hmm but those clothes, his would just, they just hang on him. So you knew he was on a 40-day fast. And this wasn't just once in a lifetime. That was many, yes. many times he did 40-day fasting. Yes, he really dedicated yeah. his life to the work of the Amen. Lord. He, yes. made, a, he yes. made a great sacrifice, and oh, he was a he wonderful ever, example for all of us. Amen, yes. And to think about indeed. how many miracles and healings took place oh. at those crusades. <laughs> and Thousands. you got to be a part of it, oh, singing and yeah rejoicing and opening up the services thousands and so and forth. Thousands of miracles yes. we saw, dear God. And one of them, I know Reverend Malar was speaking in the beginning over in Africa. He would hit that platform like a dynamo. <laughs> I mean, it just like he said, he was going across the stage from side to side to side, and he'd be going, Jesus. And then he'd go on the other, go again the other way. And that same thing, mm -hmm. raising his arms. And those people out there, the audience, they'd be just packed in those crowds, in those soccer stadiums that we'd help hold the services in, mm -hmm. and they'd be saying Jesus, and like <laughs> Reverend Millar was saying, I mean, the hair would just almost stand up on your arm to feel the power yes. in the name of Jesus. And oh, the Reverend presence, was such a dynamite. Yes, the presence of the Lord would just move in in such a great way, Amen. and there was such a special anointing. Yeah. Well, those are wonderful memories. Pete, would you like to share a memory with us? Reverend Millar had said about what an example of a believer. Amen. And uh, I just can't, it's just it, the love and compassion that he truly had for people was just unreal. It was just unreal. Amen. And he, he gave everything. And I, I, I didn't even like to ask him for anything for prayer and because I didn't want to bug him. And something that we've all heard, he goes, I was born to be bothered. You know, that was, and yeah. I'm, he would Amen. say that and I would still feel bad. You know, I didn't want to ask for prayer, but God would move. And my faith just went up there when he prayed and God moved time and time again, yes. one time with my back, um, had disc uh, damage and uh, he prayed for me. And I felt the power of God go from the, literally from the crown of my head down to my toes and he goes i felt that all the way from heaven didn't you and i said yeah that was it was great and god really moved and delivered but he loved us so much oh, yeah. and he yeah. loves people and yeah. loved people and that was his life to win the loss yes at, and at sometimes we would have services that would go 11 12 o'clock at night and he still would speak with people afterwards and minister to them and sometimes Amen. he wouldn't leave to what yeah, two late. three o'clock in the morning i sat in those meetings yeah. so i real know late. real yeah. late yeah. he he was there till uh you know one two two in the morning talk, talking to people even praying for people after the, the services but uh, uh, the favorite thing i loved was when he would hit the platform he would hit the platform even here run across the stage back and forth <laughs> Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, and get the, get the crowd, crowd go on and stuff. And then his sermons and stuff. I mean, I just loved his sermons. He was the only man of God that I really, uh, you know, when, when he preached, he, come, he was right at you. Mm -hmm. He was talking one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, it wasn't something that you couldn't understand. I mean, you knew where he was coming from, and you knew what he was talking about. And then just the Spirit of God just took him over, and it just fed your soul, and and and, and all the all all the times that I went to uh, other places and stuff, I never heard that until I came there, and that's the reason why I stayed is because I found out that God is there, and God is still here. Yes, God yes. has never left. Amen. This is God's uh, uh, ministry, and even though Reverend did his job in laying down the ministry, he's gone on. Yes. Now we got to carry uh, carry it on. We got to take the plow, as Reverend would say, and just keep plow, just keep plowing on and going. Keeping yeah. the mission know. of winning the yeah. lost at any cost. Yeah, Amen. just winning the lost <laughs> yeah. at, at, at at any cost. Just keep it going. 
And that's what I loved about this ministry, mm -hmm. and especially about him. Yeah. Yes, he made such he a great fat sacrifice. And, and he really did love people. He loved people. He and, did, sir. Oh, did he ever. He, that, that had to be something God placed in his heart, especially for the African people. Mm -hmm. He loved them so much over mm -hmm. there. And when we'd go over there to Africa, it was unreal of crowds. And like Jim was saying, it didn't matter what time we got him back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. If some of the staff members mm -hmm. wanted to talk to him, He'd take the time to talk with them. Oh, yes. And the s uh, people in the uh, service, serving, you know, the waiters, they'd come up and start talking with him. But most of the time, he'd always have the food sent to his room and he'd, just so he could stay with the Lord. And that's love and dedication for a minister to do that. Amen. And, and he was. He was dedicated mm -hmm. to his work and it was all about souls. Well, we have a treat for you and for oh. our viewers today. <laughs> our crew put together a very special video that features favorite phrases that Reverend would say down through the years that really blessed and inspired many souls. And after that, we have the Jesus Trio joining us with a wonderful song that you're not going to want to miss. So watch this video and be blessed. And a happy, happy Jesus hello to everybody. Greetings in the name of the Lord. You are special. The joy of the Lord is indeed our strength. Who loves you? Jesus. And who do you love? Jesus. And who will do anything for you? Jesus. And who will you do anything for? Jesus. When I think of Reverend Angley, I think of the love he had. I didn't walk the earth when Jesus was here. I've never met him in the flesh, but I know what he was like because I've seen Jesus in Reverend Angley. Reverend Angley would say, don't count yourself out, count yourself in. I just loved it when he'd say that at the altar call. It did stick with me because it just felt like the love of God. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Reverend Ainsley always said that he loved to preach the Word of God. There's so many things he said. I'll be over there, I'll be, we'd be in the amen corner. Amen. Who is on the Lord's side? I am. And what side is that? The winning side. So you have? Nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. So you are happy. 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 And the joy of the Lord is our strength. We are on the Lord's side. And that is something I think that we can all use in our everyday life is that as a child of God, you really do have nothing to fear and nothing to worry about. So we should be happy as children of God and we should have that joy of the Lord that gives us our strength. Nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody has ever cared for you like he cares. Surely the Holy Ghost gave him that saying because it goes forth with great power. All the things that Reverend said throughout the years were words to hang on to, they were life. I just wanna thank God for Reverend Ashley for always being there for us. And I just wanna thank him for the truth that I came to know in this ministry. If I could think of two words for Reverend Ainsley, it would be life changer. He taught me how to be holy in my everyday life. So I thank Reverend for changing my life completely. One of my favorite things that our dear Reverend used to always say is, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. If God said it, then you can believe it. And if you believe it, then it settles the matter. That's one thing I would just touch me because that's everything. He always said he wanted to be just like Jesus and he never found anyone else he wanted to be like. I would always be traveling up here with my godparents from Virginia. One time Reverend Angie told me, he said, you keep coming and you could be moving here one day. We could use two more hands and here I am and I sure have loved it and still loving it the same. One of the phrases that I heard Reverend Angley say often that had an impact on me was, don't take my word for it, take it to the word. I'd never heard anybody say that. You know, to just be like, don't take my word for it. Who says that? Everyone's like, oh, trust me, you know, kind of a thing. So it's odd um, to hear someone say that. And it had an impact on me, it really, really did. You are special. You are special. 
You are special. You are special. To God. You really, really are. God bless. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you. Nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody's ever cared like he cares. I hope that video blessed you. And now we have on the set the Jesus Trio. And they're going to be singing a song that meant so much to Reverend Angley. And actually, when the Jesus Trio would sing this song at Grace Cathedral, people in the congregation would receive miracles and healings. And the title of this song is I'm Going to Sing with the Angels. So listen and be blessed. I'm going to join the angels band. I'll sing with the angels in glory land. What a glorious time that will be. Singing with the heavenly band. I'll sing with happiness and joy. Lift my voice. And praise the Lord, I'll look upon His face of grace Singing with the heavenly band I will join the angels band Ring golden bells of heaven's land I hear us as we sing His love Saving millions for the Lord Remembering gospel songs we sing Singing praises to His name In gospel songs all day and night We help the people to get right I'm gonna join the angels band I'll sing with the angels in glory land What a glorious time that will be Singing with the heavenly band I'll sing with happiness and joy Lift my voice and praise the Lord I'll look upon His face of grace Singing with the heavenly band Anointings coming from on high Set our souls on holy fire God sent miracles day and night Angels join, what a heavenly sign Oh, how great that time will be To look upon God's smiling face Oh, the reality of it all To sing His praise for amazing grace I'm gonna join the angels band I'll sing with the angels in glory land What a glorious time that will be Singing with the heavenly band I'll sing with happiness and joy Lift my voice and praise the Lord I'll look upon His face of grace Singing with the heavenly band I'm gonna join the angels band I'll sing with the angels in glory land What a glorious time that will be Singing with the heavenly band I'll sing with happiness and joy Lift my voice and praise the Lord I'll look upon His face of grace Singing with the heavenly band What a beautiful song by the Jesus Trio. Friend, doesn't that song get you excited about seeing heaven? And just think, I can picture Reverend Angley up there in heaven right now singing with the angels. Yes, it will be exciting to be in heaven one day singing with the angels. And Jesus Trio, we want to know what was it like when you were singing that song knowing that miracles and healings were taking place? I mean, it was such an honor and it made you feel so small, you know, <laughs> when, when those miracles would start um, happening. And I actually remember the first night that that happened during that whole day, Joshua and I, we, f we felt different. Like we felt like there was a special anointing, like, mm -hmm. and we felt it that whole day. And then that night when we performed that song, Reverend Ainsley started <laughs> pointing people out and miracles started taking place. And I know we had tears in our eyes. It was just awesome. Yeah, that is incredible. There was many times just us on stage, just standing completely still and just utter awe at what God was doing. And what Krenthia talked about throughout that day, we could feel God really moving and preparing us. And that just kind of become the trend with when God would move through that song and Reverend would call for it. Even in the back prior to coming out, there was such a special anointing and such a reverence knowing what God was going to do that night. That's amazing. And I mean, if God could really open mm -hmm. our eyes and see what was happening, 
during that song, we would probably just be amazed. I'm sure there were many angels throughout the congregation touching people while they were receiving their miracles and healings. Yes, and people realize, you know, miracles are real when they yes. receive one. So what a blessing and opportunity to be able to sing that song. Yeah, and it was real special because Reverend uh, and Rocky actually wrote that song and worked together on that song. So why don't you tell us about that, Rocky? What was that like? Well, <clears throat> Reverend and I have written quite a few songs together, and he would usually, you know, either dictate his thoughts or he would write stuff out on paper, and then I would take that, and the Lord would help me. Would he ever sing song. verses <laughs> 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 to give you the melody, or does he usually uh, just give you the words? <laughs> sometimes he would just give me a little bit of something He'd to give work you a nugget. With. <laughs> yeah. And other time, most of the time, uh, the Lord would help me get the music for mm -hmm. melody. And well, that's a very special song. And, I, you know, it's yeah. hard to say how many miracles and healings actually have taken place through that song. And so now, do you have any special memories you'd like to share or anything that will honor Reverend Angeli? Yeah, so Reverend Angeli um, is obviously very special <laughs> to me. Um, he was the instrument God used to bring deliverance and freedom to my family. Um, you know, before I was born, my family, my relatives, um, they, their, the pattern of their life, um, their lifestyle was very dark and it was full of violence, suicide, alcohol abuse, drug abuse, mental disorders. And, um, but like I said, Reverend Angel was the one that shined the light to my family. And it was my grandma that, and I know I've told this story so many times, but to make a long story short, um, you know, it was through the program that she was set free. She was gonna kill herself. She was set free from alcohol and cigarettes. And because of that, my parents came to God. They saw the transformation. And so because of that, I was raised in this ministry. I never had to suffer like my family suffered. Um, I was raised with a dad that loved me and was there for me and a mom that taught me the way of God. And it doesn't stop there either. It goes beyond because yes. it was Reverend Angeli that God used to save me. Um, he preached conviction. He preached the truth with no compromise. When I was 12 years old, it penetrated. It was a Sunday night and he was preaching conviction on the young, you know, <laughs> preaching it down. And I felt so condemned and convicted and it, it saved my soul. It changed my life and I'd never been the same. And oh. I know I am who I am today because Reverend Angeli shined the light. Yes, that's so amazing. It's a good thing he dedicated his life to the work of the Lord. And Josh, you wanna say something? Sure, for me, um, you know, I, I have, was introduced to the Lord before I came into the ministry. But the one thing about Reverend Angeli, Reverend Angeli just didn't preach the gospel. Reverend Angeli brought the gospel to life yes. because he lived it. The blood was made real to us through Reverend Angeli. The Holy Ghost was a real person. Jesus was a real person. God was real. And Reverend Angeli brought the gospel to life for us. Amen. And Rocky? Well, one thing, he always preached salvation and healing. And that came to me. That's how I got my salvation and healing is through his prayers, so. And you got saved at a young age, right? Young age. It's good. Yep. It's wonderful. Yes, these are all life-changing experiences that you have that, you know, Reverend was there and what a wonderful testimony Reverend has to be able to, you know, for you, each one of you to realize how God was able to move in his life that he could also move in your life to make you right. And you know, what he has given to us, Reverend Angeli, is priceless. You cannot put a price on it. The whole gospel, living holy, the Holy Ghost baptism, miracles and healings, and he never veered. Yes. Years, yeah. years, he and he same. never <laughs> veered from the truth, you know. So. That's wonderful. Well, we'd wonderful. like to thank you being on the program and, and what a blessing to have the Jesus Trio with us singing the song. And God really moves in a great way for people to receive salvation. 
friend, we'd like to give you this opportunity right now to accept Jesus Christ in your heart so that you could make it into heaven. Pray with me and say, Oh God, save my soul. Forgive me for my sins, but I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe that the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Amen. Friend, if you meant that prayer, you have Jesus Christ in your heart. Friend, we're so glad that you gave your heart to the Lord today. We have to take a quick break, but stay with us. We have more to come. I don't apologize for the gospel. You don't need to think I apologize for anything I preach from this pulpit. When I walk in through that door, I don't come in through that door. In my name, I come in the name of Jesus. To get your free copy of the book, Hurry Friday, an autobiography by the Reverend Ernest Angley, go to the Our Grace Family Show webpage. Friend, I hope this show blessed you today, and we'd like to thank all our guests for being on the program to honor and celebrate the life that Reverend Angley lived before us. What a wonderful testimony that he pleased God. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you so. When you wake up in the morning, let him know that you love him. When you're at the supper table, let him know that you thank him. When you go to bed at nighttime, make sure you pray to him. Say, Jesus, I love you so. This program has been made possible by the friends and partners of Ernest Angley Ministries. He's a bright and morning star. He's the same